Hi everyone, I'm in the countryside, in the Polish countryside, and I thought I'm going to show you around, so let me just um, change the camera. And let's go for a little tour. So, we have a little bit of land here, with this little house. And now I'm going to take you into the back garden so that you can see our beautiful fruit and veggies which we planted so check this out this is what I would think of as a maybe empress look how many of those fruit this branch has so I forgot how this fruit is called in English, but here you can see red poppies, and some flowers. Um, here's the broad beans and little tomatoes. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Here they are. Still green. So now we walk past there is some calendula, that's a beautiful one. So here we've got red beets, the cucumbers, cabbage. On this side we've got capsicum, it's still small. There's dill, little leeks. Um, there is some salad and that celery, more salad, this parsley, onion, more beets, there is even a bush of colander, this more salad, there is the beans. Um, these bushes, they're actually raspberries, but they're not ready yet. There we have plum tree and wild cherries, and there is a little pear tree and some apple trees. And there's carrots in here, and more onion, and zucchini. I want to show you some zucchini, it's so cool. Check this out. You see it? And this is our birch trees. And there's also some blue jays, European blue jays, which are making a huge noise here. Maybe they will do some noise for you. Come on. They have a little nest here on the tree. I can see it. I don't want to scare them because they are a little bit protective but right now I think they don't want to make a noise but anyway Oh, where are they? Oh, there they are I don't think you can see it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was it! <laughs> oh, there's, it went straight close to the nest it's protecting the nest, so I'm going to get out of here. So yes, this is our garden. Looks like this. It's quite a big one. I'm very proud of my mother. She <laughs> She's mostly responsible for it. There's also this beautiful tree that the uh, elderberries are growing on the berry trees right now. Maybe you can see now. And yeah, the flowers, it's very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the tour through the garden. Um, behind me you can see those amazing bird trees with the European blue jays 
and they nest and um, yeah I hope you like the Polish countryside and our beautiful flowers and this gorgeous garden so I thought if I was to show you the garden again via tarot cards or if I thought of this garden, how it grew and what energies were needed for it to be as abundant, as beautiful as it is now, I was thinking if I was to choose some tarot cards to illustrate it, which tarot cards would I pick for that? So I did pick a few and I wanted to share those with you. They come from Nigel Jackson Tarot. So first of all, I thought of planting the seed. In Nigel Jackson Tarot, this is Six of Coins, where you could see how this um, person, well, she feeds maybe the hungry bird, so basically she shares, but also you can kind of make a story that she's planting the seeds for the spring to come, so the plants can grow. And then obviously we need also all the elements, so all the elemental powers, and um, for the plants to grow you need earth and fire and water and air and um, the word cut came to mind of course and then I thought you also can um, pick justice just because what you what work you put into it that's what you're going to get out of it so basically justice here um, keeps the balance and shows that however uh, I mean, how much work you put in, that's how much fruit you're going to bear. Um, also, I thought Seven of Coins, especially Nigel Jackson uh, Tarot, it's pretty cool. It's this waiting period, so obviously the fruit and veggies, they're not going to grow straight away. There's always the period of wait, you put the seeds in, but then you have this period when everything has to come to life and grow. Um, I thought... Obviously, ten of coins, when there is this abundance, maybe it's not this uh, time uh, yet, but ten of coins, it's going to happen when we're going to gather all the fruit and veggies um, from the garden in the early autumn. Um, King of coins, he looks very kind of um, happy and abundant with the sweet fields behind it, behind him. It's also a bit more maybe early autumn card, but that's what kind of came to mind. Um, Queen of Cups, I just saw this waterfalls behind her and I thought that this garden really needs a lot of water and it needs, um, needs to be watered for it to be live. So she came to mind and um, similar function would uh, be fulfilled by the star where she waters and keeps balance in nature. And, of course, the Empress, who is just, um, you know, like symbolic of abundance and fertility. And she gathers, gathers all the fruits of the earth. So this Venusian... Um, aspects to her but also you can see the wheat and um, the water flowing so yes she's very much a garden card as well so I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> comparison and I hope you enjoyed my garden bye